Hi guys, how are you? Now in this video, we will review the design of uh, hydraulic punching machine. This is uh, you can see the IGS data. This is main pocket. We require to cut in from this part. This four holes, square holes, and one main big pocket. You can see that. Uh, now we analyze the perimeter of this main big pocket. Now the perimeter of main pocket is 506 millimeter. You can see. Now the calculation of cutting force. You can you know that the cutting force is equal to the perimeter and multiply by thickness of sheet and multiply by shading strength. Now the cutting force in kilonewton and perimeter is millimeter. Thickness of the part is millimeter and the shading strength is kilonewton per millimeter square. Uh, the large pocket, uh, the perimeter of large pocket 506 millimeter and the square pocket 33.4. Now there are four holes. Now 33.4 multiplied by 4, uh, 130 millimeter. Now the total perimeter we uh, 506 plus 133 is now the total perimeter 639.9 millimeter. The sheet thickness of the part is 0 0.7 millimeter and the sharing strength of low carbon steel is 0 0.3447 kilonewton per millimeter square. This is a standard formula to calculate the cutting force. Now you can see. The cutting force. Now we will put the value in the formula. And 639.9 we calculate the uh, perimeter of, of the uh, pocket 639.9 and sheet thickness 0 0.7 and sharing strength. The cutting force 154.4 in kilonewton. Now we can uh, one metric ton is equal to 9.81 kilonewton, and now this is a uh, 154.4 divided by 9.81. Now the cutting force we calculated is 15.73. The factor of 53 ratio one. The 15.73 multiplied. ton approximately this perimeter pockets and four square hole this is the main datum holes now we will you can see two datum holes that we will locate the part this main part for this punching of main pocket and four square holes after review this part I just data now this uh, hydraulic punching machine design you can see this these are the four pneumatic locators and there are diamond pin one is diamond pin and one is round pin in other side for location of this part and also a uh, four uh, pneumatic clamp locators this is a very standard design to adjust the location pins and their rest blocks easily now you can see four uh, pneumatic clamp locators and the cylinder strokes of 150 millimeter proper for this is very necessary to clamp proper part clamp properly to avoid the any variation and also a quality to maintain the quality this is the ejector locator to eject the part after the punching you can see the design Now this is our design of ejector locator to eject the part after punching and also raise the part on location pin. This locator, this ejector locator 
working up and down condition after punching this is this will operate it in upward condition and also when we set the part first of all this will uh, direction will upward condition and to easily rest the uh, rest, rest the part on proper rest block and location pin now this is a base plate in bottom side you can see with adjustment pad now this is a column and punch unit you can see now we hide first of all we will study uh, we will see the how how this part is clamped and how the ejector locators are placed you can see there are two ejector locators and four are the pneumatic clamp locators and this is a pocket you can see we require to cut this pocket from main part this is our requirement this is a punching unit you can see this is a very complex design and we will design very uh, very on very this is a stripper plate you can see the surface of this paper plate is parallel to the IGS data part you can see same like as if there is any variation in this surface this will damage the part surface you can see now we hide the ejector uh, stripper plate now this is a punch you can see these are the main main punch for pocket to cut the pocket and four punches square punches are 9 millimeter in starting we will see the edges data this is a punch block you can see like is to support the punch and in bottom side you can see the punch insert we color the punch insert to visualize clearly now you can see the insert now individual part of the insert you can see the design how oh, this is a four bolt mounting uh, we will tie the four bolt and two double pin we use in this insert this is very easy for at, uh, replacement when any any breakdown any any break in the punch any damage on punch we will easily replace this is ms block fix block and the punch insert is in mount in this punch block you can see that this is a spring you can see for stripper plate this is a small punch retainer you can see this is very easy for replacement or any damages of the punch we will replace it very easily this is a spring for sp stripper plate now you can see the main die for this machine that we will cut the main pocket and force cut this is the main die you can see the design of this main die uh, also we will kill uh, uh, give the clearance uh, to to drop this leverage easily in bottom side in this tie you can see the steps in bottom side and this is a very a uh, surface is also very parallel to the part surface 
and also you can see the four square holes near the main big pocket now this is a block for die in, this is in ms and die also we will, uh, we will require for case hardening this is a back plate you can see mounted in this column also you can see the main column this is a very big design also very main design uh, what is the reinforcement and how how the 50 ton cylinder are uh, mounted so that we will uh, separately uh, weld this uh, weld the plates to create this column yeah with the 650 millimeter you can see the LM guide this is very optional because if there is a need after uh, guide shaft if there is any uh, for uh, this is optional for LM guide and you can see the uh, safety pin and when this is not no, no, not operational you can insert the this main safety pin uh, to avoid the any accident or damage of the machine we can insert this safety pin when not in operational and this is a uh, shaft coupler shaft you can see to couple this main bracket for punch unit and also a cylinder this is you can see and uh, the uh, you can see this is a coupler uh, plate to couple this shaft and also th the other side of the shaft is coupled to the main cylinder shaft this is a guide block guide shaft block now we insert the bush in this area or bearing to align the shaft properly you can see the bush this is the guide shaft to align align the punch unit properly this is a uh, area for drop the salvage from main part and now this is where in taper you can see this is a guide to rest uh, to insert the part in the jig uh, near to the this is our plate to mount the cylinder The manufacturing of this machine is very very uh, easily we will manufacture the every parts very separately there are main, uh, standard parts and also a local manufacturer part and also the assembly also very good please subscribe and like mm, this channel and you can see the very informative design also review uh, to in my next video